Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn, how to add or remove dynamic dependent select box, by using Ajax and jQuery with PHP script. We have already discussed, how to add or remove text box field, and dynamic select box field data, using Ajax jQuery with PHP script. But there are some viewers has requested us, to publish tutorial on how to add or remove dynamic dependent select box data, with PHP using Ajax jQuery. In web development, there are many event occur, in which we want to insert multiple data, at that time we have use add or remove input field using jQuery. But suppose field is dynamic select box, that means child select box data has been depend on parent select box, so that time how can do data operation. So this things, we will discuss here. Not let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database, here we have two table like category table and items table. In category table, we have three field like category ID, category name, and parent category ID, in this table we have store both, category and subcategory data. This is items table, in this table has four field like, item ID, item name, item category ID and item subcategory ID, in this table we will store multiple item data in this table. Now we have moved to write HTML code, so we have go to index.php file, and in this file, we have already included jQuery library and bootstrap library link. First we want to make one form, so we have type form tag with attribute method is equal to post, and id is equal to insert form. Under this form, we want to include multiple item, so we have defined one HTML table with attribute ID is equal to item table. We will add dynamic item data into this table. In this table, we have create four table header tag. In first tag, we have write item name. In second we have write category. In third we have write subcategory. In last tag, we want to make add button for add one more item details, so here we have write button type is equal to button, name and class is equal to add. By click on this button, user can add one more item in list. After this, we have create on table body tag, in this tag, we will append item list. In form, lastly for submit form data, so here we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to submit and value is equal to insert. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so we have go to database connection.php file, and here first we want to make database connection. So, here we have write, dollar connect variable is equal to new to class, with three argument like, mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. After this, here we have make one fill select box function, with two argument like dollar connect variable, and dollar category id variable, this function will use for fill category and subcategory select box. 
Under this function, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from category table, where parent category ID is equal to dollar category ID variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable this statement will make query for execution and so for query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method after query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append html code like open and close option tag and here in value attribute we have write dollar row category id variable and in option text we have write dollar row category name variable lastly we have write return statement with dollar output variable it will return output of this function now we have go index.php file here first we have write include statement and under this we have write database connection.php it will make database connection after this we have start write jQuery code so here we have first write count variable is equal to zero below this we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this we have write click event with add button class add so when user click on add button this code will execute under this First we have increment count variable value by 1. After this, we have write HTML variable, and in this we have append HTML code like, open table row tag. Below this, we have again write HTML variable, and in this we have append HTML code like open and close table data tag. Between this, we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to item name in array, and in class we have write item name. For category select box, here we have again write HTML variable, and in this we have append HTML code like open and close table data tag between this we have write select tag with name is equal to item category in array class is equal to item category here we have also data attribute like data subcategory ID is equal to count variable value based on this value we can make ID of subcategory select box for fill this select box here we have write PHP code with echo statement and called fill select box function with two argument like dollar connect variable and zero it will fill category list in this select box same way for subcategory select box here we have again write HTML variable and in this we have append HTML code like 
open and close table data tag. Between this, we have write select tag, with name is equal to item subcategory in array, class is equal to item subcategory, and ID is equal to item subcategory with count variable value, it will make dynamic ID for this field. Lastly for row remove button, here we have again write HTML variable, and in this we have append HTML code like, open and close table data tag. Between, this we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, name is equal to remove, class is equal to remove, by click on this button, user can remove whole row of item details after this we have write dollar with table body tag as selector with append method and under this we have write html variable it will append above html code under this table body tag friends here first we have refresh page and after refresh of page here on web page, we can see table header, with column like item name, category, subcategory, and add button. Now we have click on add button, after click on add button, we can see one row has been append in table, with field like text box for item name, category select box and subcategory select box. Here we can see category select box has been filled with category data, and subcategory select box is blank, subcategory select box will be filled data, after we have select category from category select box. And in last column, we can see remove button, by click on this remove button whole row data will be removed from table. In next part, we will discuss, how to remove table row, and then after we will see, how to fill subcategory select box, after selecting category from category select box. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching.